Here we have it. I uh, squished it in a bit so it would get rid of all the extra bits on the sides. And I put it into presentation mode, which I noticed that CJ did not because he had uh, a white background. So these are all the games that are on it and you can like list them. There was also a very good and a uh, very bad or something like that, but I didn't think I'd be using those categories, so I just removed them. Basic died in like a week. I played on Face It for like over a month anyway, and then I got a Maxis ad out of it for free, which I then sold for like $60, 50 pounds. So it was worth it in that sense. But yeah, it's, I think it's died down a lot lately anyway. But anyways, I probably won't know some of these games. And like I said, it's missing some of the best games known to man, such as Time Splitters 2. But I'll do the best I can with the what is provided. Actually, I wanted to kind of do some TF2 tier maker lists as well, like Koth maps and Payload maps and stuff. They're, I think they have a couple of Highlander and Sixes ones as well. I'd never even heard of this website until this week, but it's got, I guess a lot of people make uh, tier uh, things that you can work on. All right, Bioshock. Is this Bioshock 1 or 2? Either way, I never played the first two Bioshock games. I only played the third one and I never played Castlevania, so we can get these out of the way quick. Uh, Fallout New Vegas, I did play once and I didn't like it. But I don't know if I... Mm. <laughs> you could personally like Potatoes Custom MVM. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot about it, but I've never I've never played it myself. I know they get like custom badges and stuff, which is kind of cool. All right, don't yell at me, but I'm just going to like slide this in here for now. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to because uh, I only really played it once, but we're going to put Fallout New Vegas in BOD. <laughs> um, let's see, Half-Life 1? Um... <laughs> I mean, I'm not judging Bioshock or Castlevania. I just haven't played them. Oh, I've, I've only done one game so far that's actually rank. Hey, Five Ways and Dark Main. Uh, oh, this is not going to be good. Okay, I don't like Half-Life. Okay, I understand it was a good game for its time and stuff, but I'm just saying that I personally don't like Half-Life. <laughs> and I like literally had to force myself to finish it. What am I ranking? So this is a tier maker. It's top, well, it's just a hundred, over a hundred games and you just rank them best to worst kind of thing. So, and if you haven't played them, there's a have not tried section. I'm basically just ranking them based off of personal opinion and yeah, I don't know. I think the things that I value most about games are probably like, well, prob the number one would be in like how much I enjoyed it. Um, but other things like, I don't know, some games are really good at like bringing out emotions and some games have really good like engaging gameplay and stuff like that. So yeah, I know TF2 is on the list. Isn't that cool? Uh, Street Fighter. I'm gonna put this in I haven't played because I might have played it like a couple times in an arcade, but I wouldn't really remember, so I'm gonna put it in there. Um is this Smash Bros? Which one is this? It's cut off. Is this just any Smash Bros? Hmm. I played Smash Bros Ultimate on I think it was called Ultimate on Wii. And I really liked it actually. I haven't I played a bit of the new one, but wasn't that into it. The newest one for Switch. Uh, I'll put it in decent because <laughs> I know lots of other people like it and I liked the old Smash Bros and I haven't really given that one enough playtime probably to judge. TF2 is kind of hard because yeah TF2 is like obviously my favorite game that I currently play and I have 7,000 hours in it. I can't decide whether it's really masterpiece worthy or it's great worthy. It's kind of hard to decide. Hmm. Maybe I should do some more in this list and then I can come back to TF2, like once I've got a bit more context for it. Until Dawn, I haven't played. I watched Markiplier play it though and it looked really cool. Warframe? Oh, I actually have played this one. Um, It was pretty cool, but it didn't really keep my attention. So I'm going to put it in decent because I really liked its movement uh, and fighting stuff in it, but... I don't know what it was about about it, but I just never really went back to playing it after a few times. 
Uncharted 4, I'm going to put in Masterpiece because I love the Uncharted uh, series and 4 is the best one, I think. It's like a, the perfect mix of fighting sequences, action stuff, then like quick time events, I guess, or like action scenes and puzzles. And it has like really good characters and pretty good plot usually. <laughs> well, I did like preface Fallout New Vegas a little bit at least, so you know. I haven't played uh, Yakuza. Battlefield 1, I haven't played. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, I haven't played. Red Dead Redemption 2, I haven't got for me, but I haven't played it yet. Um, It took a while to get it working on my old laptop because uh, it was a bit weak. I haven't played Dota 2. Oh, I didn't know Fire Emblem was on here. Um, If this is the new one, I haven't played it, unfortunately. But I do really like the Fire Emblem series, and I... I played other ones, like one for the 3DS and maybe one for a DS back in the day. But if it was one of those, I'd put it up like maybe probably in great. But if it's the new one, I can't judge it. <laughs> it's honestly gets pointed at head a really good game that everyone gets gun pointed at head a really good game that everyone should play. <laughs> I never I, I think I just don't like the vibe of the Fallout games in general. Like it's not specifically Fallout New Vegas. I don't like any of the Fallout games. Halo Reach, I haven't really played. Sonic Mania! One time I have played. Mm. It's another one that I've played, but I never finished it because I just got bored of it. Which so far I've been putting them in decent because I don't really think it's the game's fault too much that I stopped playing it. But it's not like it's not being bad, but it's not being motivated me to play either. So Hot in Time is kind of good, but I kind of hate those games where you're just like collecting stuff all the time. And Hot in Time feels like that a lot of points, I think. I haven't played Batman. I haven't played whatever the hell Jungle Party is. I haven't played any Call of Duties. Um, is this Crash Racing? Did they remake this? Or can I rank the old one? I don't know if this is a remake or not. Um, I think Crash Racing is good, but not as good as Mario Kart. So I'll put it in good, I think. It's a remaster. Well, I'm judging the old version of the game because I don't have the remaster. They're basically the same. Mass Effect I haven't played. What is this? Final Fantasy 7? Ooh, spicy. Um, I actually didn't personally play this myself. Maybe I started it. I was very young. I used to watch my brothers play it. So I've probably seen this game played like at least three times. So I'm going to judge it anyway. <laughs> um, and I don't know. It is really cool. I think it's probably the Final Fantasy that's most famous as well. And there's been like at least one movie based off of it anyway. Um, like a spinoff. Should have taught you in Smash better. I didn't get to own you in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, I never really played the new one too much. But let's see. Final Fantasy 7. I think I'm probably going in mm, probably in good. I think it's got nostalgia vibes. It's like with Crash Racing <laughs> in that it's like a fun game, but it's not like anything that ever really blew my mind, I guess. Watch Dogs. I haven't played. Uncharted 3 is really good as well. But I think Uncharted 4 is definitely better, so I'll, we'll put it in great. Sounds like your Steam library, I know, Adem. That's, I've definitely got mostly unplayed in my Steam library right now. Metal Gear, haven't played any Metal Gears. Haven't played whatever this is, Bloodborne. What is this, the Shadow Man? Oh, it's another Metal Gear, okay. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. Star Wars Lego, I definitely did play one of the Lego games, but I can't remember what it was. It had terrible controls anyway. Um, Shadow of Colossus. I probably would want to play that game at some point, but I haven't. I don't know what XCOM 2 is. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I actually have played and I don't like it. And let's see. Yeah, it's going in bad. <laughs> you agree with Uncharted so far? Yeah, I mean, I think Uncharted is a pretty <laughs> solid pick. Um, I played the first Assassin's Creed. I might have tried one of the other ones as well because my little brother loves the Assassin's Creed series and he convinced me that one was actually terrible and that I needed to try another one, but it didn't help any. Um, I've never... Mm, I have Grand Theft Auto V, but I never really played it. Metal Gear Solid, haven't played. Uh, Assassin's Creed, haven't played. Smite, haven't played. Doom, haven't played. 
Borderlands 2 is between these two because oh, I just found it so boring. It's so grindy. I don't really like the art style. I don't like the characters. There's like nothing. I don't can't think of a single thing about Borderlands 2 that I like. But I don't know if it's bad enough to be horrible. I feel like horrible needs to be like a, an actually broken game. <laughs> but I don't know if there are any actually broken games on this list, so it's hard. People like that one the most. You mean out of the Borderlands series? I remember when uh, the trailer for it came out on TV and I was like, uh, it was back, I think, whenever I played console and I hadn't moved to PC yet. And I was like, oh, me and my brother could play that. It looks so fun because we played so many co-op games. And then I never did. And then I eventually played on Steam and I hated it. <sighs> hmm. I think I have to put it in horrible because I don't like games where you have to grind. But there are some games that do it well, I think, like Killing Floor, where you're just fighting waves of things and stuff. And I don't think Borderlands does it in a way that keeps it interesting to me. So that's where it's going. Uh, I haven't played this Final Fantasy. I haven't played Watch Dogs. I haven't played Dark Souls. What is this? Shadow Mare? I don't know what this is, but I probably haven't played it. Need for Speed! I've been playing that game. But is this, the, this is probably like the original or something, which I haven't played. But I've been playing two other Need for Speeds lately. Mario Odyssey. I don't think I played that one. Devil May Cry. I haven't played this. Assassin's Creed. Mortal Kombat. Call of Duty. Doom. Is this Half-Life 2? Half-Life 2 is better than... Half-Life 1, I think, even though I fi actually finished Half-Life 1 and I didn't finish Half-Life 2 because there's like a little bit more variety in Half-Life 2. Am I going to have to move Half-Life 1 down to horrible? No, I'll just put I'll just put Half-Life above. I haven't been doing these in order in their categories, by the way. Is there anything I need to shift around? Just uh, doing a little bit of tidying here. All right, now it's good. Wait. Eh, whatever. <laughs> okay, this is, I assume, League of Legends, right? I haven't played it. You only grind in true Vault Hunter mode, which you agree is bad. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't know. I hate games that, like, have a million... I think it's another reason why I don't like Battle Royales. It's like they have, like, a million different weapons that just drop in the ground. They're different colors, and you have to just, like, figure it out. <laughs> I can never get into those because I can be bothered. Oh, Overwatch. Um, ugh. somewhere between bad and decent, I think, because I don't know, it's like kind of cool ideas, but and I really like how it looks like the graphics, I think, are cool, but I, I like really persevered with Overwatch for like six months or more, and I just like couldn't get into it at all. So maybe I'll put it at the top of bad. Excuse me, Half-Life. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not horrible. Crash remakes. Um, I'll put them in great, I think. But probably not. Mm. If it was just Crash 2, it would probably make it to Masterpiece, but it's not just Crash 2. But above or below Uncharted 3 is the question. Mm. It's really hard to directly compare some games. Because there's different things that's good about them. I'll put it below Uncharted 3, I think. God of War, haven't played. <laughs> um, Dragon Ball, haven't played any of those. Far Cry... I actually started one of them, but never continued. FIFA, nope. Tetris. I actually don't think I've ever played Tetris. Maybe I have. Like, online or something. But, I mean, <laughs> I think I'm just safer not rating Tetris because it's not going to be good. <laughs> Fortnite, I actually have played. And I hate the whole crafting thing and stuff. So we're going to put it in. Is it better or worse than Borderlands? Okay, we'll put it in horrible. Um, World of Warcraft, I haven't played. I have played this. I think I 
feel like all the Pokemon games are basically decent because after a while they're all the same thing. So it might, yeah, it's definitely worse than Final Fantasy and Crash, I would say. We'll put it in decent. Just put Naughty Dog as top tier and everything else. I like Square Enix as well. Naughty Dog and Square Enix are all going to be top tier. Everything else is trash. <laughs> game modes instead of heroes. Yeah, I don't like games that continually add heroes. Haven't played this, haven't played this. I am. Is that that new game with the lady? I don't know what that is. Haven't played Yakuza. Is this another Batmine game? I honestly can't tell from this picture. I haven't played any Legos games, really. Is this Mario Kart? Eight, so that's for the Switch. I like the one for the Wii best. We just had like a ton of good games, but Mario Kart is fun, so. I think I'll put it in decent. Above Warframe, but below Pokemon, maybe. You just got here and you're like, you <laughs> Look at how big this have not tried section is. <laughs> I just said Crash was worse than Mario Kart. Wait, what? Oh, right. Yeah. Crash Kart. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. That's a good point. No, 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 this is making me re-question everything now. All right, you know what? I'll actually move Pokemon Emerald up to good then, I think, is the is the true solution to this. There. Fix. <laughs> um, Super Mario Galaxy I did play and didn't like. So it's going... Let's say it's either the bottom of decent or the top of bad. I'll put it at the bottom of decent to be nice. It's a good thing you reminded me of that. Minecraft? Ham, am I allowed to judge this? You know how long I've played Minecraft for. Am I allowed to rate this or do I have to put this and have not tried? Is this brutal? <laughs> okay, uh, Minecraft is going in... I think it has to go in horrible. Up of bad, bottom of decent. Yeah, I, I mean, the Mario games are pretty bleh, I think. Aside from Mario Kart, it's probably the best thing from that game series. Um, Minecraft worse than Borderlands. Yeah, I think so. It's going above Fortnite. <laughs> Gonna make everyone cry. <laughs> Monster Hunter, I played that one, nice. And I liked it. I always get excited if I see one that I've played and that I liked, because I feel like that's not going to be a lot of this list. Monster Hunter, hmm. Despite me liking a lot, it might have to go at the bottom of good just because of the other games that are in there so far. Hmm. Maybe above Final Fantasy VII, because technically I didn't really play Final Fantasy VII myself. Me and Han played uh, Monster Hunter together. Um, <laughs> I really liked, actually, I might like the one for Wii. We just had so many good games. I might like Monster Hunter Try better than Monster Hunter World. What the heck is this? Overcooked 2! Another one me and Ham have played. It's pretty fun, actually, but also stressful. Oh, this is hard. There's really fun moments in Overcooked 2, but also sometimes it like worries you down really, really fast. PF2 so good, it is above being categorized. I haven't categorized it yet because I can't decide if I want to put it in great or masterpiece. And I feel like I need to paint more of a picture of where the other games are before I can decide that. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, it's No, it's definitely good, I'd say. So I'll put it at the bottom of good, I think. What the hell is this? Oh, it's Counter-Strike, that's why. <laughs> I haven't played. Pac-Man! I find it really hard. How do you, like, rate a really simple game versus, like, a, a really complicated one? I guess it's decent, right? Is it more decent than Warframe? I would probably rather play Pac-Man than play a level of Warframe. So what was <laughs> our top decent game right now? <laughs> Uh, Persona 5, I haven't played those. I'm kind of interested in them, though. I don't know how anime they are or how, like, over-the-top they are. But 
I was curious about checking them out. Pokemon Sword was good actually, and I like that it's different. I if I got really tired of playing the Pokemon games because they all seem like you're playing the same story over time. Like beat the gyms. There's an evil group called Team Something and blah blah blah. So <laughs> I like that Sword felt like it had kind of different vibes to it at least. Maybe it was part of it just being like 3D. So really hard to compare with old Pokemon games because they were good for then. Like, po if you give me this in Pokemon Sun, I'd say like, or even Pokemon XY, I'd probably say like Pokemon Swords better because it's changed up. The Pokemon Emerald was back in the day, so I can't really judge it for not being changed up yet. Like Game Boy Advanced, I had a purple C3 Game Boy Advance. I'll put it here, I think. <laughs> Count yourself lucky. Okay, what is this? How am I supposed to tell what this is? Does anyone know what this is? Oh, it's it's tennis. It's the thing. Pong, yeah. I mean, it's just so boring. Like, this is the thing. That's like one of the first games invented, I know. So like, obviously it's like, but like if I'm rating it by now standards, then obviously it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it better than Borderlands though? <laughs> uh, I would rather play a game of Pong than play a, <laughs> a quest in Borderlands. <laughs> uh, yep. Anyway, Portal 2 was good. <laughs> Let's quickly move on from that. Uh, Portal 2. I always love it when they make like local co-op games. So they're high, highly treasured in my eyes. Um, not as good as the Crash games. Is it better than the Pokemon games though? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll put it in great. It's especially cause it has all the workshop maps now and stuff. It's, it's kind of cool that you can do all that stuff in it. This is good. What, Portal 2? A good spot. It's a great portal one. Uh, I guess like portal one's pretty much would be in the same zone for me. I'm trying to decide which one I like better though. Like I don't know. I like the like originality of the portal games in Portal One. Ooh, that's hard. Oh, all of it's gonna get me in trouble. I mean, if it, Uncharted fans are happy at least, and Crash fans, I guess. World two is better. Mm, uh, they're pretty samey for me, but I'm gonna put Portal one first, I think, just because it was really cool experiencing. Oh, they have the Jackbox games in here. Jackbox six is that the newest one? I think seven's the newest one, right? Jackbox 6 had like the alien thing and what was in Jackbox 6? I need to look up the Jackbox 6 games. I can't remember now. Do they have the all party packs in here or just <laughs> number six? All right, it had, oh, murder trivia too. Oh, this is actually probably one of the best packs maybe. Role models, push the button, joke bo boat. The dictionarium. It's it's a, one of my favorite packs, though, I think. So let's see. Jackbox Party 6. Um, hmm. I'm going to put it in great. I just have to decide where. It's really hard comparing like different types of games, like party games versus like story games versus co-op. I've had more fun playing Jackbox than either of the Portal games, I can say. Oh, Crash is literally... I gotta put it here. Here's the safe spot for it, I think. I haven't played Resident Evil 2. Oh, well, I actually kind of did. I started it. Maybe I should bring this back. This is the one I played on stream that um, that was bought for me. I really
really liked it. I just don't like managing items. So that was more like a personal issue than anything else, I think. So I stopped playing it. I'd say it's decent. Maybe the most decent game thus far. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Haven't played Sekiro. Haven't played whatever this old looking thing is. Haven't played this janky old Mario game. Um, I didn't play Galaxy 2 because I thought Galaxy 1 was bad. I haven't played Terraria. I have played Skyrim. Um, it's not as good as Oblivion, which I don't have on here yet, but... Skyrim is definitely better than Resident Evil 2. Better than Overcooked, so we're moving up in the world. Better than Monster Hunter. Yeah, okay, it's definitely better than... Mm, do I need to put it in Great, actually, maybe? Skyrim is better than the Portal games, for sure. And Jackbox Party 6. Okay, Skyrim actually... I think Skyrim goes here. It's got the third best spot right now. Super Mario Galaxy is bad. Is indecent. Oh, did I put it in decent? It's because I think... Oh, you're gonna make me re-question this! Alright, we're putting it at the top of bad. <laughs> okay. I think I saw it next to Overwatch and I was like, well, it's better than Overwatch, probably. But you've changed my mind again. <laughs> Your prize, surprise Pong is so low. I mean, don't make me start re-questioning things. We'll be here all day. <sighs> Wait, inventory management, too many weapons, different stats and items, adding classes, all things Leah doesn't like. Well, I think you can overcomplicate things needlessly to the detriment of fun. The Last of Us I have played. And I think the story is cool, but I don't like the gameplay. So we need to like balance those things out in my mind. I'm trying to decide if it's better or worse than a hot in time. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm stuck, I'm like, would I rather play a hot in time or The Last of Us? And that helps me get over it. So the answer to that is sadly this. Um, What is this Zelda? Is this Ocarina of Time or? Hello? Which Zelda is this? Have any features? I mean, these games have uh, plenty of features. I actually like games that have a lot of variety of modes, I think. Um, but not not too much of other stuff. Like, Uncharted's really good because it has different things you're playing at different points. Like, I really liked It Takes Two because it's so, so much variety, but not much complication. Oh, Breath of the Wild? I didn't play that one. Um, I technically played one of these cartoony DS ones, but I can't remember what it was, and I didn't really have a huge opinion on it, so we can just leave it out. Is this Ocarina of Time? <laughs> While I'm waiting, I'll rank Uncharted 2. Ooh. Uncharted 3- I think the Uncharted games got better as they went along, except the first one was also, like, really good, so... I'll put this here because I like Oblivion better than Skyrim and that'll probably cause some friction later. <laughs> that looks like the original. What the heck is the original Zelda? Is that the Ocarina of Time or what? Is there a Zelda that's just called Zelda? Have I never played it? Do I know what that story is? Googling Zelda did not help by the way. So have I not played this? I didn't know there was like a original Zelda that I haven't played. Oh, is it like the little 8-bit thing? All right, well, I'll put it in here. We'll figure it out. Um, oh, The Walking Dead. I actually have played this. It was pretty good. Um, I like. I really like choices games in general. But not great. So, and it was a little bit of a grungy atmosphere as well. So we'll put it in good somewhere. Hmm. 
Maybe just below Monster Hunter, I think. I've never, again, I never played Final Fantasy technically, but I really liked it watching it like three times over, so I'm including it anyway. I haven't played The Witcher yet. I haven't played Yakuza, Yakuza. Apex I have played, but I didn't like it. And so I'll probably put it... God, it's really hard to decide between bad games. <laughs> Is it better or worse than Pong? <laughs> Um, okay, I think I'll actually put it above Pong. Sorry, Ham. Celeste I have, and I mean to play it, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't played whatever this weeb looking thing is. Dishonored, I started and never finished it. I don't, I don't think I played enough of it to judge. Oh, Firewatch, actually, I've played. Um... Firewatch is like one of my favorite game genres, but definitely not my favorite game within that genre. I really like those kind of like walking sim story type games. And Firewatch is good, definitely, but there's like a lot of better ones, I think, for that. So. Hmm. I'm going to put it in good somewhere. It has to be, uh, be above Overcooked in Final Fantasy. I think I liked it more than The Walking Dead and less than Monster Hunter. Nerd Trigger List 2021. <laughs> I like 2D golf and that's it. You play golf. And it wasn't 2D. By the way, um, Swede keeps referencing What the Golf, which is probably the best golf game because it's story game because it's so like, first of all, it's like uh, as on golf as a golf game can be, which is probably why I like it. But it's like funny and quirky and stuff. I haven't played this. I have played Inside. It was pretty good too. Um, this one actually might go kind of high up. Because I, I like little kind of puzzly platformy games that are like kind of indie as well. And it was kind of dark and freaky too, which is also fun. I'm gonna put it in between the the cart games. Oh, I've never played Isaac. Oh, I actually played Star Wars this one. Actually, I really like this game. I kind of forgot about it. I I did not cry during 2D golf. Um, Last Jedi. Ooh, this might even go up into great. I really liked playing it. And especially these days, it's really hard to get me to play a long game because I just feel like I don't have any patience anymore. But I was happy to play this one. Hmm. It's going to go right beneath one of my favorite game series, Crash. Oh, I've played Journey as well, I think. Did I? Can you play that on Steam? I'm not sure if I'm getting it mixed up with another game. Let me... Actually, let me Google on my other computer. <laughs> Just in case I type something in my bar and something comes up. Is this the one by the guy who made Abzu as well? Yeah, I don't think I have played this one. Did it ever come out in Steam? Oh, it is out in Steam. It came out 11th of June, 2020. I guess I just never <laughs> heard about it. Actually, that's one I might, that's, that's actually one that I might, uh, I'm going to save this to play it on stream, on, on stream <laughs> later. Okay, so I can't judge it yet, but in the future. I really like the Abzu game though. All right, Left 4 Dead. Uh, it's, uh, this, our whole area right here is so hard to decide. Okay, so in my opinion, Left 4 Dead 2 is pretty mediocre. I liked playing each map like once through and then after that was boring. I know there are custom maps as well, but at least the ones I played weren't that good. So it's better than The Last of Us. 
Is it worse than Hot in Time? <laughs> no, I've definitely played more of Left 4 Dead than Hot in Time. Let's say... Maybe I'll put it at the top of Decent. Yeah, I'll put it top decent. That's a pretty generous rating for Left 4 Dead, I, I feel. Limbo, I'm probably getting mixed up with Inside because they're like the same kind of a thing. Um, So I'll put it just below Inside. <sighs> Haven't played more how Have played Outlast. Um, this was probably the first proper horror game I ever played. So that's kind of special. This is actually might be one of the first playthroughs I ever posted on my YouTube channel as well back in like 2015 or so. So. I think I missed some chat. Mine just reconnected. Wait, what would come up? You got to get the MP. That's the most fun part. I have completely lost <laughs> whatever, whatever those were in reference to. What do you mean I'm not? Look at this! Uncharted 4! You guys probably haven't played Uncharted because I don't think you have a PlayStation, right? Outlast. Better than Left 4 Dead. Better than Overcooked. Is it better than Final Fantasy 7? I'll put it above Overcooked and good. What would come up for my browser if I typed it in? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna check. Getting over it, I haven't played. I never want to. Papers, please, I have played. But I never I haven't finished it yet. But it's kind of fun. It's kind of like mediocre fun. I'll put it below overcooked too. Or above left for dead too. Well, I have played Tetris like back in the day, but I I haven't played it recently and I didn't have any strong opinions on it. Like, it's very bland, so I couldn't like put it in Masterpiece or Horrible, I don't think. I didn't really care to rate it then. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, it's probably somewhere where's Pac-Man? It's probably like below Pac-Man. That's where Tetris would be. Um I'll put this in decent, because you know, good is a, a category that needs like some respect. In perspective of the era, as a kid, I also found Tetris boring. There. Whereas I enjoyed Pac-Man as a kid, so it's below Pac-Man. <laughs> Resident Evil haven't played. Avlo don't know even know what that is. Rocket League I have played and I don't really like it. Just like cars and balls and janky controls. But is it better than Super Mario Galaxy? Yes. <laughs> Beat Saber! Pong is horrible because it has no content. <laughs> I mean, the thing is like, okay, so Pong was one of the first video games, but in comparison to like other activities you could choose to do, I would probably choose to do most other activities than play Pong if I lived back in that era. Um... Beat Saber is... Ooh, wouldn't it be cute if we put it next to <laughs> the Star Wars game? Um, I really, really like Beat Saber. I've only ever gotten to play it at VR arcades because I don't have a, my own VR stuff, but it's so fun. I've played it like for a solid hour at a VR arcade, so... If I had this game, I think I'd play it all the time. Did I put Skyrim above Crash? Oh god, I'm going to start second-guessing myself. Uh, I'm gonna put Beat Saber here. You called it Tennis? That's because the original game was called Tennis for Two. The, like, the second video game ever made, I think, was called Tennis for Two, and Pong is, like, based off of that game. That's why I called it Tennis. Silent Hills 2. Uh, I haven't played any Silent Hill games. I don't think I've played Sims 4. Do I have that on my Steam? I think I have uh, Sims 3 on my Steam, but I didn't really play it. Oh no, I do have- I do- No, I have Sims 4 City. Sims City 4. I haven't played this one. Second Sun, don't even know what that is. Haven't played Civilization. 
Oh, I haven't played the new Spider-Man, but I really want to because I played an old Spider-Man game uh, on the PlayStation and I found it so much fun. Oh yeah, sure you did, Ham. Sure you <laughs> beat me in Beat Saber. Spore is the very first Steam game I owned. Isn't that cute? It's pretty mediocre though, looking back. <laughs> Better than Rocket League. It's not worse than Smash Bros though. <laughs> Actually, okay, let me think about this. <laughs> uh, yeah, Spore should be beside The Last of Us. I feel like that's like, you know, fitting. Right better than the hunt. No, okay, no, it's too, it's too boring for... Okay, we'll leave where it is. Oh, you like Spore? I like it too, but it seems kind of basic now. And I did, I, even though it was the first game I bought, I think I only played it like two or three times. Um, Wii Sports is really fun. And it was really cool, like, you know, when the Wii first came out, having all those motion controls and stuff for the first time. It's a masterpiece. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> but it is, it isn't great for sure. I'm going to put it here, I think. It's a pretty good spot. It's respectable. It's respectable. Uh, I did play Bully and I didn't like it. My brother loves it though. I, again, I don't know what it is about these like games that feel very grungy. I just can't play them like Fallout, Dark Souls, Bully. Like, ugh, I don't know. I just like hated the whole atmosphere of Bully. Um, so I might have to rank this pretty low. Cause like a lot of these games in bad, they're like, I don't have any negative feelings towards them. Like strong negative feelings, but I really don't like Bully. At the same time, it's probably not horrible, though. Let's see. Well, hmm. Better or worse than Half-Life? <laughs> um, hmm. I'd say worse than Half-Life. Better or worse than Fallout? I, I think it's actually worse than... Mm, uh, this is so close. I'm, I'll put it here for now. Deus Ex, I haven't played. I haven't played. I haven't played. Fallout 4 was the other one that I played and didn't like, but I didn't play enough of it for... I'm just going to put it in here because I don't... You know, it's, it, it, I basically just put it where Fallout New Vegas is anyway. Uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> well, at least put the names on it so I can understand. I haven't played Fallout. Far Cry 5, Far Cry 3, World of Warcraft, Counter-Strike. Gmod I have, but I haven't really played it them, so I'm not, I don't really think I can rate it. Oh, it's Fallout 3. Well, all the others are labeled. Guitar Hero haven't played. <laughs> it, don't tell me that Heyday is a game that people actually know and play. Haven't played. Hitman. I actually own one of those on Steam and I think I started it, but never continued it. Hotline. Just cause. This is Kingdom Hearts. Alright, now we're back to the good stuff. Um Which one is this though? I think that's the Kingdom Hearts 3 artwork, is it? Maybe two. Yeah, it's three. I haven't finished this. Um, even though I waited years for Kingdom Hearts 3 to come out, I didn't even, wasn't even aware when it did eventually come out. But I do like the Kingdom Hearts games, and I started this and I like it so far. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi, CJ. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't avert your eyes. Thanks for the follow, Mercenary. I'm trying to place Kingdom Hearts 3 right now. Chloe's Rice, thanks for the follow. Wow, rude, rude. Thank you for the raid. I hope the rest of your Apex stream was good. Despite the rude entrance. I'm placing Kingdom Hearts 3 right now, which you haven't played, so you didn't get an opinion on. 
definitely better than Pokemon, I can say that much. <laughs> Actually better than Portal as well. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts. Mm. We'll put it here, we'll break up the uh, laser swords. <laughs> you can see, uh, well obviously this is quite large, but you, you can see how the others have been placed so far. Uh, yeah, I think there's some inverted stuff from uh, CJ's own tier list. <laughs> oh, life is strange. Perfect. More games I actually have played. Um, life is strange one. I actually did cry at one point, which doesn't happen very often in games for me. So it's got to be up. Yeah, sorry, CJ. I played the start of it and I got bored, so I stopped. And then I never played the second one, which is why it's in never played. <laughs> Life is strange one. Um, it's actually pretty high up. Is it better? Is it better than Kingdom Hearts? Is it better than Beat Saber? I'll put it there because it made me cry. <laughs> you think you're having a near heart attack? Hey, at least Fortnite's at the bottom. It's not during the tutorial, CJ. Listen, there's a couple in here that I started and never finished. Like Hitman, I started and didn't get that far into. And one of the Fallout games I started and didn't get that far into. So I just put them in here. I didn't rate them. But I feel like I sufficiently played enough of Mario Galaxy to decide that it was crap. <laughs> and then stop. The thing is, like, if I legitimately think a game is horrible, like Fortnite or Borderlands 2 or Minecraft, I'm not going to keep playing it for hours on end. So if I only rate the ones that I've played for, like, <laughs> like, tens of hours, then I'm not going to have anything in horrible because I would have stopped playing it by then. I mean, I haven't rated Skyward Sword, so... All's fair. Um... Which life is strange is this? I can't tell. The text is too small. Is this the prequel? I guess it has to be. Mm. Mm. That's about right. It was really good too. I just really like a lot of these games in here on an equal level. Wait, do I want to put anything else in Masterpiece? All I've got there so far is Uncharted 4. It's kind of hard. Like, Life is Strange 1, I think, was kind of Masterpiece-ish E, But there was a lot of bad stuff about it, too. And I don't know. I'll leave it for now. Oh my god, we're almost through the list already. Well, kind of. <laughs> Most of them in here. If What I need is, like, a PlayStation-specific one. PlayStation and... PlayStation, Steam, and Game Boy specific one. And then I'll have played a lot of them. No Xbox. And like old PlayStation games. <laughs> it's not close to Masterpiece. It's a decent bit away from Masterpiece. <laughs> I haven't played Metro. I haven't played this. I haven't played this. Oh, Pathologic 2's in here. I didn't know that. This is actually one of my favorite games now. I have it listed on my game or well, I don't have it anymore, but on my Steam profile, I used to have it a game showcase and I had like Pathologic on there because it was one of my favorite games on Steam. <laughs> Why isn't I what? Skylanders is probably not played if it's actually there because I've never played it. Um. <laughs> Pathologic 2. And we'll put it, we'll squeeze it in. Hmm, better or worse than Kingdom Hearts 3? Let's squeeze it in there. Isn't Skylanders, am I right in assuming Skylanders is that game for the Wii where you get the little figures and you like sc scan them in or something? Is that what Skylanders is? I haven't played Path of Exile. Haven't played Plants vs. Zombies, haven't played this, haven't played this. I have played Rainbow Siege 6, but not enough to judge it, because it was boring, so I stopped playing. 
Um, Saints Row, haven't played, haven't played, haven't played, haven't played Star Wars nerd games. Too pro, I have played. <laughs> I've never played, what, what's PVZ? What the, oh, Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah, I don't know, I always thought that was like a mobile game or something, is it not? <laughs> I'm super hot. Mm. It was fun, but like, I don't know. The gimmick got kind of old after a while. So I'm going to put it just above papers, please. What the heck is this? How am I supposed to read this? I assume I haven't played this. I haven't played Undertale, even though I've watched it. Um... Well, I just didn't play mobile games, that's why. Um, mm, I guess I'll put this in great. Oh, I don't even know what System Shock is. Um, yeah, it's gonna go at the bottom of great. Animal Crossing! I assume this is the new one, right? Or is this one of the older ones? The moment where Animal Crossing is about to get <laughs> placed above Pokemon Red and Blue. <laughs> um, yeah, this seems like a nice spot right here for Animal Crossing. It's fun, it's creative, it's colorful. I thought you led a Skylander team? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, Animal Crossing's good. Which Pokemon is this? I can't even tell anymore. There's too many Pokemons in here. After a while, they all blur into the same thing. I'll put it below Sword, because it's if I don't remember, it's not as good as Sword. Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> Cuphead is one that I really like a lot. It's like super cool aesthetics, like super unique. Hmm. This one's gonna be pretty high up, I think. Do I like I probably don't like it better than Pathologic 2 though. Maybe it's like similar. And I played it with Ham, so it's also good. Why is Half-Life and bad? Uh it's kind of boring. <laughs> and I I I think it's because in my head it was one of the first Steam games I played on my account. Well, I played Black Mesa, but same thing. And I was like, I have to finish this game. So I kept myself going until the end, even though I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, tell CJ right now. I'll have you know, first of all, I started it in solo mode and beat a few of the bosses. And then I had wanted to play it with my brother, but he doesn't have Steam, so we didn't play it. And that's why I started solo. And then I was talking to Ham about it and we decided to play together because we enjoy each other's company, CJ. And well, co-op's always more fun anyway. And there were a, a few bosses that I beat single-handedly, uh, despite them having extra health because there were two of us. Thank you very much. So, uh, Cuphead goes somewhere in this zone. really hard comparing like different like tj did you not find it hard like comparing different genres of games and stuff like it's really hard to directly compare a lot of games i'll put it in here i think uh i started this but i haven't, I haven't got to finish it because i was having janky computer issues so i can't write it i toy i actually had this I don't know if we had play two though. I think we probably had whatever the original was. <laughs> was we had the eye toy when it came out? And I'm gonna read that. You didn't rank within the tiers. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes it easier, I guess. Um, grounded, I think is one that you pointed out, Ham, but I haven't played it. But I think it was one you were saying we should get. No, I have played. Okay, fine. I'll move Tetris onto the board then. I was so just complaining about this too. I have played Tetris, obviously, but I just, like, didn't have any strong opinions about it. So... It'll go above The Last of Us, but below Spore. 
<laughs> Just dance, I haven't played. I haven't played this. I haven't played this. Um, oh, the Sly games. I haven't played it. But the only the only Sly game that we had was like, I think I got a demo of a Sly game with a Ratchet and Clank game or something like that on the, on the PlayStation. And I always thought it was so cool. You had like one level of a Sly game on this demo disc. And I never knew what the actual, we never got the actual Sly games for whatever reason. Hi, Kush. Um, haven't played, haven't played. I have played Crusaders games, but I don't know if that's the same thing. Um, Divinity, haven't played. Haven't played whatever this is. I have played one of the Dragon Quests, but I don't think it was this one. It was one for the DS, which this does not look like it was the one for the DS, so. Dying Light is really good. I'm so glad I have some more games I can put inside of Great. I was getting worried at the start. <laughs> Dying Light is probably better. Oh, this is so hard. It's better than all of these, I think. But after this, where do I go? I've never played any Roblox game. If there's even more than one. Um, Dying Light, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I'll put it in here. Fall Guys. <laughs> okay, Fall Guys is definitely not going into great, even though it's it's pretty fun. Um, it's probably like similar fun level to Mario Kart, I would say. I'll put it just below Mario Kart, I think, because it's good and fun but not amazing <laughs> i'll have you know there's i was just saying you have to do like shooting you have to do puzzles you have to do like quick time events in uncharted 3 it's got like a good blend of things i was saying i love like variety i was saying i hate when they have lots of heroes i hate when they have lots of weapons or like inventory management but I like it when they have like a variety of like what you can do within a game, like game mode type thing. That's what I was saying. I really like It Takes Two because it's like perfect that it has a lot of variety, but like no complexity. Shut up, CJ. Okay, Alex, I haven't played. Last of Us, I haven't, two, I haven't played. Uh, Metal Gear. Ah, another good one. It's better than Skyrim. So that's where we're starting from. This one might make it up with Uncharted 4, actually. Me and Hammer were talking about it earlier. Oblivion. I hate when games have gameplay, but I like it more when I press a button during a movie. I didn't say that! I like Oblivion. It's like semi complicated. Yeah, I think I'll put Oblivion in Masterpiece. But above or below Uncharted 4 is really tough to decide. Sorry, I hate the Fallout games, and that's the one I played the most of. <laughs> the others I didn't rate because I knew it just wouldn't go to good places. Mm. Oh, this is so hard. Why did I decide to rank within tiers? CJ was right. <laughs> it was much more simple not to. I'll put it there for now. Payday I have played, but I don't like it, so it's not going anywhere good. I just... I don't... <laughs> Fallout New Vegas is too grungy, CJ. <laughs> Oblivion is, like, beautiful. Also, I think I just prefer, like, Melee, which I guess Oblivion has more of, in a way, maybe, than Fallout. I don't know. Maybe that's a wrong assumption I'm making. Okay, Payday is going into bad. <laughs> but we'll put it at the top of bad, I think. Actually, you know, Payday is probably better than The Last of Us, right? We'll put it below Tetris. Uh, Persona game. No idea what this is. Haven't played Rust. Haven't played Saints Row. Haven't played Titanfall. Haven't played this. Haven't played this. Haven't played this. Whatever that is. I haven't played Shovel Knight, but people kept telling me to. Haven't played this. I have played a Dragon Ball Z game, but to be honest, I can't remember what it's called, so I'm just going to assume it's not this one. <laughs> I have played Dead by Daylight. Questioning your will to live right now. <laughs> like how big this section is. <laughs> I've played 
a lot of games, by the way. They're just not on this list. Hades? I don't. I haven't played Hades, so I can't rank it. Oh, this tier list is almost over, and then you scroll down. I mean, it is almost over, technically. Like, you know, a lot of those are probably going to be fed into the haven't played. <laughs> so many things wrong with the sentence I just said. Yeah, well, they are going and not played, but if like this list happened to have all the games that I had played, it would be a lot bigger than that list. <laughs> uh, Dead by Daylight is like mediocre fun, I think. Probably better than Warframe, worse than Pac-Man. <laughs> How do I come Like, what is this? This is just so stupid looking like Warframe, Dead by Daylight and Pac-Man. In comparison um yeah let's say it's worse than pokemon <laughs> yeah I, I heard hades is good but i don't think it's my type of game so i never played ducktales oh untitled goose game i've half played it i have to do the other half still i really really liked it though it was pretty fun mm. it's probably somewhere in the fall guys zone of good Do you know what's really hard? If I look, sometimes I look at other games, I'm like, okay, but it's not better than Outlast. But then I start to look at other things. I'm like, well, I do like Monster Hunter better than Outlast. So then I have to start moving everything around. All right, we're not gonna look back on past decisions. We're just gonna move forward into the future. Uh, okay, it's definitely not, it's not better than Inside either because those are like simple games with more depth than an Untitled Goose game. Hmm. Sword is ass. Wait, what? Oh, sword and shield. Um, I liked it better than most recent Pokemon games. Okay, it's better than Firewatch, probably. Yeah, we'll leave it there and move on swiftly. I haven't played Hollow Knight, even though I think I own two of them and I kind of want to play it at some point but I keep getting put off by the fact that you have to like go back to different areas and stuff and that just sounds awful um flight simulator all right we should get through a lot of these CJ how sad is it that you actually had this and you could actually read it instead of putting into have not played I don't even know what some of these are. I have Ori as well, and I I really want to stream it, I think, at some point too, but I haven't done it yet. Have I played any of the rest of these aside from... Uh... Am I allowed to rate... I think these are the Crusader games I have played. I don't have the third one, though. I only played one and two. They were fun. Let me find Crusader. <laughs> Can I find it in this list? It's probably too far gone now. Crusader games are fun, though when I was a kid. Am I allowed to rate Cyberpunk? I played it for maybe like, I played it for like two hours. I'm gonna say a no on that one because I only played it for two hours. I haven't played Doom. Wait, which Final Fantasy is this? Is that a remake of Seven or one of the spin-off games? I already have Final Fantasy Seven up here. I mean, I, I don't have strong feelings about Pokemon Sword, but I do think it deserves to be where it is. Oh, I haven't played the remake. So. I haven't played Hades. I haven't played whatever this is. I haven't played Hitman. I have played Super Liminal. This might be the last one that I've played aside from TF2. Um, Super Liminal is pretty fun, but definitely not the best puzzle game I've played. So it's not going into great. Yes. <laughs> Avengers, Wasteland, whatever this is. Okay, now I have to figure out if I'm putting TF2 in Grey or Masterpiece. It kind of feels like nice and rounded to have three games in Masterpiece, you know? Like the cream of the crop. And they're all like vaguely different. Like, 
I've never spent anywhere near as close to the amount of time that I have in TF2 in any other game ever. I probably never will. And it's a game that I play most consistently for the longest period of time and that I still like to play. Yeah, it's hard because usually when I think of masterpieces, like a lot of ones that aren't here that I can put in there and stuff, I think of games that like made me emotional at, at some point, like have really good stories usually, but that's obviously not necessarily the only thing to be a masterpiece. Just the first thing I think of. Obviously like TF2 doesn't have like a, an overwhelming emotional story. Mm. I feel like I could get away with putting it at the bottom of Masterpiece. Spirit Fire, I would put, probably put in Masterpiece. <laughs> CJ. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put TF2 at the bottom of Masterpiece and decide it with that. So, ignore this section. We got Horrible's Apex, Pong, <laughs> Borderlands 2, Minecraft, Fortnite. Bad is Rocket League, Mario Galaxy. Overwatch, Half-Life 1, 2, Fallout New Vegas, Bully, and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Decent <laughs> is super hot, Papers, Please, Left 4 Dead, Resident Evil 2, Pac-Man, Dead by Daylight, Warframe, Hot in Time, Spore, Tetris, <laughs> Payday 2, Last of Us, and uh, the new Smash. Then in good, we've got Pokemon, Emerald, Sword, uh, one of the other ones, Mario Kart 8, Fall Guys, Inside Limbo, Crash Racing, Monster Hunter, Untitled Goose Game, Firewatch, Super Liminal, Walking Dead, Final Fantasy 7, Outlast, and Overcooked 2. Why do I have Overcooked 2 in here and not Overcooked 1? Is that not kind of weird? I guess it's like, maybe Overcooked 1 didn't have online co-op? I don't know. Um... Then in great, we have Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2, Skyrim, Crash, Remakes, Dying Light, Beat Saber, Life is Strange, Cuphead, Kingdom Hearts 3, Pathologic 2. Also weird they only had Kingdom Hearts 3 in here when they have like a lot of series from other games. Um, That Jedi game, Life is Strange, prequel, Wii Sports, <laughs> Animal Crossing, Jackbox Party 6, Portal 1-2, and Pokemon Red and Blue. And then Masterpiece, we have Uncharted 4, Oblivion, and Team Fortress 2. There. A more perfect tier list could not have been made. Aside from, like, we need to get one that doesn't have all these games and instead has more games that I've played. Crash Racing is above Fallout <laughs> New Vegas. Yeah! Easy choice. Crack a cold one and chill. Kong is a masterpiece. <laughs> How can Dead by Daylight be indecent? It does its horror game John oh job great? Um, I don't like it's kinda scary, but I think when you're playing a co-op horror game, it's just automatically less scary than other horror games. Like Outlast is still definitely be way better than Dead by Daylight, in my opinion. Crash Racing is above Fallout New Vegas. I consider Masterpieces iconic games. Yeah, I mean, I'm going more down the personal route. Like I was saying to Swood earlier, if I lived in the era where Pong was a thing and also bowling was a thing, I'd probably like go bowling in real life every time then play Pong, even though it's like one of the only games in existence. Personally, you consider masterpieces to be at least able to be played? At least able to be played? That sounds like a very low bar for masterpiece. <laughs> Outlast is single player, they're different. Yeah, I know. And I was saying it's really hard to compare similar games, but I actually wanted to finish Outlast, whereas Dead by Daylight, I played it a few times and I haven't really been inspired to play it again. Wii Sports. Well, like CJ was saying, I think Wii Fit is way better than Wii Sports. So if Wii Fit was there, it'd probably be like way up above. Yeah, 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 CJ, we know you hate games, horror games where you can't like shoot things. CJ's like, where's my guns? <laughs> We're just doing a masterpiece, but you can't play casual the base game. Oh, right. Uh, I mean, I just play on Uncle Topia, which is like same as casual, except no, no random crits or spread. <laughs> I mean, it is. When you think back on Wii Sports, it was really cool at the time. And 
it was probably the, one of the first times that my family would have played like video games together. So it's kind of got that going for it too. Yeah, okay, CJ. I mean, it was one of the first horror games I played, Outlast. Because I was too scared to play horror games for a really long time. And then Outlast was one of the first ones I played. And like I was saying, it was also the first one I made like a video playthrough of on my YouTube channel in like 2015. Um, and it might have been the first game I also watched a horror playthrough of as well. I didn't like Outlast 2 as much. I played it on stream, actually. Um, and it was good, but I don't know. I thought it was weirder. Not in a good way. Anyway, I don't think this can be perfected anymore. 